Hey guys, my name's Six. I'm the Quality Assurance Specialist here at ECD Automotive Design. And today I'm going to be talking about why going with a Defender Restoration Specialist is more suitable choice over a custom vehicle shop. I'm going to explain to you guys today why this truck that came from another company is not the way to go. I'm going to show you little things here and there that make us a little bit above these people that make trucks like this nowadays. So like I was saying with the quality and everything that we do here at uh, ECD Automotive Design, we try to pay attention to detail. We try to make sure that our gaps on our doors are a lot better because as you can see here, this door right now, if it were to shut, it's going to knock this paint down here. Our body alignment, our people that do it here, it's, it's spot on. Like it looks like it comes out of a factory. So like I said, it's not a finished product. And then we come down to the con kit. Now when we do a con kit, we take special care of it. We like to do our own, our own modifications to it to make it fit better with the body line. As you can see here, the body line, there's some gaps here. And a lot of the times water will protrude into this con kit. And then underneath, all your stuff that's underneath will get damaged. Just like some of this hardware that they put on this con kit. It's not the right hardware that goes with this. It'll rust over time. And like I said, attention to detail. You can see this bolt right here. It's not aligned with the hole. They had to recess the hole and make the hole bigger. So now you can see the hole behind the bolt. So when we see that, I cut it right then and there and we, we redo it to make it look better. As you can see, the paint on this, on this truck isn't, like they didn't prepare it very well. You can see it lifting in a lot of the spots. So that's telling me that there's gonna be rust underneath that paint. So now I'm gonna walk you to the back. Now we do LED spotlights in the back, but here you can see that they recess them into, the, into this panel. Now, there's a lot of problems with this because now you have water leakage here. Now you're gonna have wind noise coming out through here and it's not the proper way to do it. We usually mount them outside, it makes it look a lot cleaner. Now we have backup cameras that we install with the truck too. And right here, they instead of using the rear washer, they put a camera. We usually mount our cameras down here out of the way so it doesn't look like it's there. Now to bring you guys along to see the interior of this truck. Now, when I look at this interior and I see this headliner, I instantly want to rip it out just because it's annoying that it doesn't fit correctly. Now above these alpine glasses is a big hit for Sergey here at the shop. But these alpine glasses don't look like they're oval just like these are. They don't look very oval. They're sagging in some spots. He rejects them right there in an instant and then we have to redo them. But another thing is, is that this truck has a sunroof installed into it. So a lot of the stuff we see around here is that custom car building shops likes to go to a lot of aftermarket parts. As you can see here. The aftermarket sunroof right here, this is not stock or OEM certified for this roof. It fits horribly, it's probably going to leak, it most likely is going to leak. And then if you can see the headliner here, it's also an aftermarket headliner. There's gaps in between here. You can pretty much see the roof from underneath the headliner. Now when we do it, we custom fit everything that we possibly can from the sunroof to the headliner to an OEM standard so that it looks like it literally came off the line. So now it's down to the electrics. Now it's down to the tricky components. All everything that looks like spaghetti underneath the center console. We have certified ASC electricians that make this mess of spaghetti look like it's not even there. All right, now to the drivetrain part of this truck. Now when we received this truck, it didn't come in running. And now my sneaky suspicions is because they tried to put something in this car that they didn't know what they were doing with it. So let's take a look. So right here, we pretty much have just a regular V6 uh, Chevy motor. And then they threw a turbo onto it to make it a little bit faster, give it a little bit more horsepower. But here, at, like first off, you can start seeing things that are totally wrong. Computers aren't even bolted down. It's too busy. There's too much here going on. Here at ECD Automotive Design, our master certified technician, Charlie, he likes to make sure that everything fits perfectly. Everything is down to the T. There's not one little detail inside these engines that he is not okay with. If he's not okay with it, he'll stay there and keep, and keep working at it until it's perfect. So I'm Six, thanks for watching. This was ECD Automotive Design. I hope you guys learned a lot. See all the things that we here don't like about other cars that come into here and how we build our cars to perfection and how we <laughs> tend to the customers more than anything else.